What's going on? How did they run out? We had more than enough. How many pieces are you short? You said 126? They put them on the wrong thing, didn't they? That means you got hundreds that are labeled incorrectly. I ain't got I'm frantic right now getting this phone call, letting me know that a huge labeling error has happened while preparing this order. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. At this point, I just have to trust my team, pray that they can get this done, and come up with a way that I can come in and save the day if need be. I'm so tired. Hey! Tiffany! Oh, what's wrong? Oh. Oh. Working, man. Busy. Stressful. Why are you stressed out? You been stressed out over this? No, girl, it's a lot. I literally was outside just cursing because as important as it is, we had no room for error, and the like one of the worst things happened that could happen. They put the wrong label on the wrong product. On the whole batch? Damn near. Yeah, and then on top of that, I was here today with just me, my mother-in-law, and one of my friends setting up because I couldn't pull nobody from my team because they're all at the warehouse. Courtney's not here right now because he's at the warehouse. He got to go to New York. We got to take an order to our retailers. So I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. Well, at least, I mean, Tisha should be glad that you're so here, that you showed up. That's what I said. You want to know something that was crazy? What? Stone walked up to me today and was like, you got that $100? I was like, $100 for what? And he was like, for the boot. You didn't pay. I was like, what is going on? You asked me to be here. Like, I didn't, this what ain't no so, so what would this room be without your soda? I think it's a little irrational for him to ask for that $100. But I just saw him and he, and he was like, OK, who's doing intros? Who's doing this? Are you speaking? And I was like, no, no one asked me to speak. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were coming here to celebrate black businesses, to showcase the success of many people here in Huntsville. This feels a little disoriented. Um, I mean, all together. Stormy is upset because she's being asked for $100. That seems a little unprofessional. I actually was feeling some type of way. I, was, I told Lewis, I was like, I found out about this like two days ago. I think it was half baked Oh, how you doing, child? They got me in the corner in the back. How I'm gonna be in the corner in the back? I said, Maurice, so I just left from over there. I didn't see you. Listen. Oh, you yes, see I did. It. All the way back there. Oh, yes. What's up, Tay? Yeah. You made it. Your special guest coming? Who's the special guest? Sure. Yeah. She, she's not. No, she's in California. Oh. She's she's been visiting a friend out there. Friend. Yeah, yeah. She ain't been answering. Oh, really? Barry? It's a different time zone. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. She was probably at church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she's, uh, yeah, church service. Was that right Wednesday? Now. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely church. 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 Yeah. church. Yeah. Battery died yeah. on the way to church. On the way to church, yeah. She said her phone might die in like five, five seconds. It died. Oh, okay. In five seconds. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Come back three hours later. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's still there. Sheree and my relationship, I mean, to this day, I mean, we still, we cool. I mean, we cordial. We still hang out, communicate. We talk on the phone. Um, it's, it's my friend girl. Yeah. It's looking like they're about to start. So much mad at me. Why, why are you so mad at me? See, she's mad at me. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that teacher arranged her not paying. Oh. And so I, I shook her down, <laughs> and she was mad. <laughs> this is amazing. Y'all did a great job. Hold on. Hold on. I see Melody out there. Why the ain't coming up? She said no. Yeah, but, but I'm not coming. I'm not standing up here. You can just Why? sit up here on stage. Why? No, I'm not sitting down. Why? I want to be on the stage. You agree. I don't want to do it. All right? I, I'm okay. not going to be up here, all right? No, he, I'm 41. I don't want to be up here. <laughs> Why you don't want to talk about none of your businesses? Uh, Why you don't want to talk about none of your businesses? He gets a little nervous in front of people. It's weird as <laughs> Would you not have been up there? The core six arguing, definitely not a surprise to me. I hope they understand that everyone can see them arguing. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, well, they can see us. They can see us? Yeah, they Maybe. can see us. Oh. Well, you can't see that right there. <laughs> I'm not sure which is more embarrassing, that we are arguing in front of the whole audience or your boy's changing his mind at the last minute. Yeah, Martell, like, come on, Martell. To be fair, Martell changing his mind at the last minute is kind of on brand for Martell. Black Expo, make some noise, everybody.
We've been having a great time this evening. Coming to the stage, we they have Marso and Letitia Scott. <laughs> okay, Miss Fly Business Lady. We have Maurice and Kimmy Scott. We have coming out our business owner, Miss Stormy Steele. Oh. Oh. Next to the stage, we have Mr. Martell Holt. I definitely expected Melody to attend the Black Expo. Um, actually, I thought that she would be um, one of the speakers somehow, some way. I mean, I just didn't expect her to be sitting in the audience. 